Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of Backyard Bandits. So today I know what mission we're going to take. We're going to take a two skull pirate mission, a uh, capture base. But before we do that, let's have a look at the mech bay. Did a couple of minor adjustments here. So the gladiator, um, I went back to the double medium laser build, ER medium laser build, and dropped in an ECM. So we pulled out the flamer and the ammo and dropped these in. The heat sinking is really good on this mech. Uh, so I wasn't really worried about the laser build on this thing. But it's nice to have the ECM jammer because this guy's going to be in close relatively with the enemy mechs. So uh, it's probably pretty good to drop the ECM on that guy rather than on the dervish. Uh, and then the um, Burkut uh, Lam mech, I did a minor adjustment to this guy. So I pulled off two of the SRM-2s and one of the tons of SRM Inferno ammo. Put some standard ammo in for some damage potential. Uh, with the rest of the SRM-2s, and then threw in a regular tag and the tag barrage. So this guy can jump in, tag up some people, and jump out again. Uh, we did have a little bit of issue with the heat last time we were we were playing, so I you know I compensated with that by pulling a couple of the SRM-2s out and dropping some tags in instead. Hopefully, giving our missile mechs a better chance to hit when these guys are firing, or when we hit the enemy with the tag. So that's that. Um, I didn't touch the urban mech. I did mess around with a couple potential builds. I mean, we could put an LBX build into it, um, but then it would just basically be a mo like a sitting uh, still mobile gun turret, which we could use for defend base missions, but that would be about it. The mortar could go in, but I didn't really have a support weapon to go with that. Um, and barely any room for the ammo. So once again, it would just be a place that would just, it would just be sitting and shooting. So I just left it for now. We don't really have, I mean, we do have, a, we could make an AC5 build, uh, long range build, but then, you know, we're looking at something very similar with this urban mech here, which has got the two larges on it right now. And this would function better than this particular one. So I didn't bother with that build, just left it. Um, so yeah, that's all I did. Now let's have a look at the command center. I know, I already know what I want to do here. We're going to do uh, a ripe for the picking. Now it's a desert environment and it's a capture a base mission. So we're going to have, it's going to be tricky. It's going to be really tricky. So let's negotiate this. It's it's all about who we're going to bring in, I think. If we pull this off, we're going to have good rep with the pirates, which is good. Uh, so Earthquake's coming out of here. We're definitely going to bring in Hotshot and the Gladiator for how cool it is. Now I'm thinking, um, I, I want to bring the Fire Bee, uh, simply because we've got a fair amount of... Um, Oh yeah, the other thing is I took out the SRM and we'll put LK ammo in that I was able to buy in the store for this guy, so a little bit better chance to hit with the SRMs. So I thought about bringing the Fire Bee in for this one, um, but I'm thinking we're going to need that uh, barrage. I want to see how this works on the uh, Burkut, so we're going to keep this guy in, in combat, and we'll run with the rest of the mechs as we have it. So let's do this. Okay, fingers crossed, and where are we here? We're right at the base. Well, that's going to be easy to capture. Clear out enemy defenders. A single lance defending up, but where are they? Um, so back this way, I guess they are? All right, we got to scout this out. So they don't have turrets, which is a bonus. I want to get the archer, I think, up high, Roger. as well as the dervish. Actually, I think we all want to go up high. Unless we want to engage with melee with this guy. Uh, I don't want to capture the base just yet. I'm only saying that is just in case, um, let's get into here, just in case um, it activates a second lance, which I don't want it to do right now. I'm not actually familiar with this base capture. I don't see a lance here anywhere. It could be anywhere though, like it could be up here. It's a big map. Well, I don't know. Aye, aye. I'm getting a sensor trace. 
Where? Right there. Good to go. We snuck up behind these guys. All right, let's get over here. On the move. All right, we got the height advantage. AC2 carrier. What are you? Crapple master. Let's get into a position to strike here. Sprint scout helicopter. Okay, not so bad. I was expecting a lot worse. Like, um, potential from the defenders here. Do we want to go... Let's see if we can kill this chopper real quick here. Should just be able to see the chopper and nothing else. Nice. Yeah, he's got like nothing. Uh, let's just hit him with standard LRMs. Not enough for a kill, but some good damage. Inflicted some heavy damage. <laughs> heavy damage. Was that a Clint? It is. Buddy, you don't want to round that corner. Trust me. Talk to me. Uh, let's not use the incendiary. Let's use the regular ammo. I'm saving the incendiary for mechs that uh, are a real big threat. Okay, nice. That guy's gone. You were brave. I'll give you that much. That chopper is gone. Okay, let's not get to where they can all see us. That's good chances to hit, and barely any heat increase, considering it's such a hot environment. Three machine guns and a couple flamers, most likely. All right, let's fire on them. All right, look like one hit. I want to put a barrage in the AC2 carrier. We got three turns till we can, we need it again. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, it's going to be eight damage, ten damage with regular ammo. Uh, let's just go ahead on this guy. Oh shit, where did the barrage land? Right in front of us, because of course it did. Maybe we can sucker the cattle master in there. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. And they're behind us. I'm still reading enemy contacts, Commander. You need to secure the area before you can proceed. Darius, man. If you didn't drop us on the base, it wouldn't be this bad. Okay, we're gonna move out of the position where those guys can shoot us in the back, so we're gonna get over here for now. And we're going to handle these guys. That's really good chances to hit on this guy. He's slowly starting to climb here. Good chances on the AC2 carrier. Not so good in the Clint. Um, let's go after the AC2 carrier. My reason for that is I'm wondering if this guy's going to get suckered into the uh, barrage here. What do we got back here? Looks like vehicles. St oh, it's a Stinger, a Locust, Centurion, and a Firestarter. Okay, not bad. It's the OG Firestarter. It's the original Gangster Firestarter. Move order received. Get over here so they can't see us. Target the AC carrier. All right, one hit again. Enemy flanking. 
Yep. Commander. That they are. Let's go after him. Affirmative. A little bit of damage. Couldn't tell if the tag hit though. Don't know if we got tag on him or not. Ow! Is that the Centurion? Fire starter. Here we here. Moving out. Just walk it back. Get our stability back. We're gonna rain some missiles down in this AC2 carrier. Hopefully, wipe it out. Here it comes. Here we go. Not quite. Take that as a lesson. Good damage, though. Now I turned the voices up a bit. I don't know if you can tell. Did that last episode just to get it a little clearer. Although that text guy is still muffly, so I didn't bother putting his voice back in. Like I said, it just sounds like someone's rolled off all the mid and high 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 range off of it, or high end, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Okay, get over here. Location confirmed. Stay on the hill. Keep rotating. I want this AC carrier gone if we can, please. 27, we'll take it. Crap. That's a miss. This Clint's getting caught out in the middle of nowhere. You're really going to push it, are you? That locust is pushing the archer, really? Okay, he should be nice and toasty. Looks like they're trying to hook up with their brethren. And that's fine. LRM 10, a couple points. Looks like he might have... Uh, um, thunder ammo. That would be nice to pick up now is some thunder. Rain it down on the archer. Okay, let's move a little bit. Get over here. Get some chevrons. One chevron. Oh boy. Well, one's better than nothing. See if you can finish this guy off. Should be no problem. Yeah. See ya. We need some vehicles with more hard points. So is that a... what is he using? It's this guy. Ballistic, I have no idea. Walk over here. Should still be under lots of cover. Get some heat back. Put some plink plink on this guy here. Yeah, maybe a little bit of damage. Yeah, some plink plink. Whole lot of nothing really. A little bit of plink plink in return. All right, Hopper. Time to engage these guys. Who do we want to engage, though? This is the Stinger. Let's back it up. We're going to guard this pass. Uh, 
Uh, I gotta leave these off. Alright, a little bit of damage. I gotta save those infernos for the centurion and the uh, fire starter for sure. Alright, Hopper. I've got your back. Back at it. Get my front too, buddy. I'm moving. I think this guy might be too close. 37. 20. 20. 28. Nope, 37 it is. Say goodbye. Looks like some penetration there. Nice. I mean, it's a locust. doesn't have much armor, so... Yeah, you back up. If you know what's good for you, you back up. What's up, boss? Okay, it's time, time to start coming back around. We're gonna have to help out uh, Hopper here in a second. 1424. 19's across the board. Let's take those. Whatever you say, boss. Okay, one hit. Not bad. I think this guy's pretty warm though. It's hard to tell. We're gonna have to jump and get some heat back on our uh Yeah, that guy's moving in. Have to get some heat back on our uh lamb here in a second. If we don't, if we don't move. Dead fire is 29. 28 damage though. Let's what is the SRM? 42. Let's go this route. Maybe got a little bit of heat on him. Yeah, a little bit. Not much. But a little bit. That's fine. Okay, got a plan here. Got a plan. Stan. I'm the man. He's going to get 20 years in the can for stealing the golden Ann. That guy's heating up. Strangely enough, the machine guns, you think actually are relatively economical, but they actually add a ton of heat. Like a ton of heat. They were way better when they didn't add any real, any real heat at all. Do 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 Okay, we barely got any instability, so we're good here. Let's go with this. Beautiful tag hit. Uh and all the SRMs, we're gonna switch to Inferno. Cause dude's toasty already. Let's toast them up a little bit more here. Wow. Well, looks like we got the tag on. Looks like a couple missiles hit, so not bad. We're going to jump out and cool off next turn. Yeah, we got like eight chevrons of evasion, so we're ton we got tons. Plus that lamb's got almost got full uh full armor, so What's the matter, buddy? You a little warm? Plus 45 heat from fire. Dude's toasty. I think we might be able to move into here and just shoot him in the back. Okay, let's get our lasers around here. Ready for orders. Acknowledged. Okay, on this guy. Not bad. Uh, we're gonna fire them all again. Oh, this guy's taking some good CT damage. Hopefully we can pen here. Ooh, there goes the arm. I think he did too. How can I help? It's not having a good day, that guy. Get some chevrons, <laughs> one chevron of evasion here if we can. Yeah, there we go. And let's finish this guy off. Do we want to finish this guy off or do we want to kill the, uh, or tr try and kill the uh, locust? 
because the locust was hitting us hard. Don't know how we're going to do. Let's go after the locust, see how we do. Okay, lost something. That was a critical hit, lad. Most likely is is either his arm or his torso blew off there. Order. How far can you sprint? Not far enough. Yeah, we can't be in there. We want to have a better chance to hit, so let's just get as far as we can. This locust has been a pain in my side. Let's just go with standard LRMs, drop it on them. Is that enough? Yep. Well, he's going down anyway. Still alive. Okay, so he's got two small lasers. And he's hot. Oof. Sure. That'll help with being cooler. Let's get our vigilance going. I wonder if we can hit him with the... Wow, well, it's 28%. Let's do this, though. Like here. Confirmed. See what happens. Now, they might move... Like, this Centurion might move into it. He, oh, he is. If I can keep bringing him forward, he'll receive that barrage. Clint's still nice and hot. Gonna fire, are you? Barbecue you in a second. Okay, he's got like this. It's gonna give the, uh... Cattle Master a chance to hit, but I'm not that worried about it. Look at the chance to hit with these. Tag on him again. Here it comes. Yeah, burn up, you bastard. What are you doing? Moonwalking? Doing a little moonwalking over there? Sure looked that way. No, I want you on... Yeah, let's go against, against the guy on the ground. Actually, you've got a lot of weaponry, so let's not do that. Let's go after this guy. Um, we could go all dead fire. We're going to overheat. Oof. Let me think now. Forty-two. We're gonna need to cool off in a second here. It's ten dead fire at forty-eight. Let's go this route. All right, not bad. Oh, a head hit, beautiful. Ignore, he's ignoring the injury, but that just means that uh, if we hit him again, it'll start affecting him. Order. Aye, aye. Keep it going nice and slow. Let's finish this guy off. Copy that. If you can actually hit him. Thank you. Beautiful. Hey. 
You're not supposed to shoot me. I'm worried that that, AC, that I think that's an AC10. Talk to me. It could be the, it could be a 20 though because it's not firing all that often. I want to kill that stinger? Probably. Aye, aye. And this is how you shred a stinger. Roger. Still going. So apparently it's not how you shred a stinger. Punch right through his arm. Boom, motherfucker. <laughs> that was kind of nice, that little air burst. I was wondering what that was before. I didn't really... Why is that guy floating? I'm realizing that it's like an air burst now. These Panthers, the Panther model has always been weird with the legs. Now it's like, this is like a floating guy. Uh, we need to get a direct line of sight on this guy. He's starting to heat up here. Here we go. There we go. Let's help him out. He's getting a little warm. Getting toasty, buddy? Let me help you out with that. There we go. Let's get you a little toasty. Here we go. There you go. Needed to get warmed up there. Now I wonder if I can get hot shot around. If I had something I want done, I'll do it myself. That way it'll be right. Uh, let's get over here. Get a little closer shot on this guy. Now a chance of hitting this head is going to be low, but we're going to take it anyway. Alright, well the big one finally hit. That's actually Not that it's actually Got doing it. anything. Are you? It's hard to tell. This guy's shut down, so let's just go for it. Try for the head, because why not? For House Arano. That was a critical hit, lad. Was it? It's hard to tell. At least the Centurion is uh firing indirectly. Four, five. Let's go this route. Uh, yeah. Enemy bringing the pain. Reporting critical hit. She's not cool enough anytime soon. Beautiful. We're going to spend a turn back there just to cool off. That Clint's out for several turns now, most likely. Certainly a different dynamic having the uh, fire and maneuver added to the, uh, the mech quirks as opposed to taking it as a skill. Makes you rethink some of the stuff that you're uh, that you normally take, and the way you play. Let's see what we can get on this guy. There we go. And there goes the Clint. Um, I think we need to move. At least a little bit. That Centurion is, uh, On the move. still shooting with that AC. Alright, firing on this guy. Keep him war warmed up there. Hopefully he won't shoot back at us.
and rotate slightly. Take some shots on this guy. And three more misses. Because why not? Standing by. Roger that. All right, you're ready to go next turn. I've got your back. Do you? I fucking hope so. On my way. I hope so. Pardon my swearing, guys. I am trying to stop. It's not easy, though. Eesh. Sure. I guess I should really switch to Inferno. Go against that Centurion. Lucky bastard. I want to try and get him... I want to try and get as many parts as I can out that Centurion, so I'm trying to kill these other guys first. Sweet. Alright, two hits, nice. I need to keep my, uh... Order. My LRM, um... Let's go over here. My LRM, uh... Inferno rounds. Oof, really, eh? Let's go with the dead fire. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the LBX-5, that's what he had. That's interesting loadout. Alright, you're up. Let's deal with this asshole. Once again, me and my pouty mouth. Alright, we're just going to shoot with everything here, except for the barrage, we'll leave that off. Um, let's go back to standard. We save the Inferno for the uh, Centuri on. on enemy rear. Nice tag miss, though. Talk to me. All right, Centurion's turn. Let's get going here. Fall in behind me. All right, let's get some incendiaries on him. Start getting this guy heated up. Get oh, you don't have any jump jets. How far can you move here? Not very far. But enough Roger. that we can get a direct line of sight, which is what we want. I'm only going to fire the large. Engaging. Yeah. Meh. Negative damage. Mm-hmm. All right. Commander. Let's get over here. Switch these guys back to standard ammo. Really? Why can't I... Oh, here we go. It's so bizarre when it does that. Wow, the risks are... Oh yeah, because these guys are in the arms, that's right. Where do we go this route? Slightly better. Engaging. Less missiles, but... That's fine. Awaiting orders. All right, let's forget that guy. Confirm. He's not a threat. But this guy, on the other hand, see if we can get the tag on him. Yep. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. 
All right, B, get out of there. Now we can fire our maneuvers, so... Should have used the Inferno last time. Hey! Why can't I... Here we go. Got the angle. Taking the shot. Enjoy the heat, buddy. Score to critical hit. Um... Do you want to go too far? Good to go. Um. Moving out. He's not shut down, but he's also not moving, so. Let's go with everything. Here it comes. For an alpha Ooh, all three. Beautiful. Okay, the incendiary should shut him down now. Here it comes. Roger. Ordered. Moving to position. Is he shut down? That's the question. Doesn't seem like he is. Uh, let's just go like this. We'll drop some heat for next turn. Okay, makes it harder for him to hit. Ooh! Guess that was an ammo explosion. <laughs> Insult to injury. Cattlemaster's thinking twice now about his life here. Out of all the mechs that should have died first, it would have been the cattle. It should have been the cattle master, but the guy's the only one still alive. I feel so sorry for him. Oh! Now he's going to get punished. Punished for still being alive. Make sure we get a side shot on this guy. Now, I don't know if he's in range for dead fire. Um, he is. It's 48. How much? Oh, we've got enough rounds left. Firing. Let's see who gets the kill. Probably going to be her. Probably going to be you. Yeah, switch to regular ammo. I'm okay with the overheating on this. There's a knockdown. Well, I'm shocked we didn't overheat on this one. I'm firing on the enemy. In the archer, that is. I mean, we didn't fire the medium lasers, but still. Battle mech down. Uh, oh, we haven't captured the base yet. <laughs> aye, aye. Uh, so much Far fun. Away. There we go. There it is, folks. Mission successful. So that was an interesting one, dropping right on the base that time, and then kind of being behind the enemy. It would have been if we were if we had started on the other side of the map board. Most likely, I would have gone up and taken that high ground anyway. So it would have just taken a little longer, but we turned it. It turned out okay. Some good kills. I'm actually shocked that uh, Hopper got a bunch of kills here. Really nice experience for everybody. That's uh, nice and juicy for for us low levels. All right, let's have a look here. So the OG fire starter, there's three pieces of that. 
and Cattle Master. AC2s. What's the weight on these things? Six tons. Um, Beagle Probe. Endo Steel. Oh, man. Let's grab that. Uh, ballistic. That's a possibility. I'm just going to drop it in for a second here. Um, double heat sink. How many pod lower arm? Is there any weight to this? Doesn't look like it. It would be nice to put this on the... Um, I should probably take that. Put that in the lamb mech. Because we need it for the accuracy on the other arm. LRM swarm. Black AC. I mean, I know I could take mech parts, but these are all direct upgrades for our mechs right now. Um, uh, yeah, let's go this route and see what we get out of this. Okay, Centurion, Clint, Cattle Master, and Locust part. AC2, LRM10, LCRM2 Street, but which we don't have any ammo for. These we can sell. Lots of those. We don't need the basic sensors. Flak ammo, plus four versus VTOLs. Yeah, we're not going to need it. Primitive sensors can go... SRM2 Streak. Well, it's nice. We don't have any ammo for it. Now, the LRM10, we've got two of them. Let's sell that. Um, I don't think we're going to be needing this at all. And let's sell the Streak. We'll hang on to the rest for now. Well, the Cattle Master. That's, well, it's got, it's got more hard points than the rest of the mechs we have. <laughs> It's got five. Uh, let's just sell it. Sell the part. Can we sell the part from here? We can't. Okay, let's just continue. Okay, 19,000. That's not bad. And that's it. So, we got some direct upgrades for some of the mechs here, which I'm going to apply. I'm not sure where that uh, endo steel is going to go. Might go in the archer so I can put more heat sinks in, maybe. I don't know. Um... The other option is the Dervish. That's a possibility as well. I could add heat sinks with that too. I'll have to think about it. But I am going to end this episode here. We got one more day to get the uh, the uh, the bar upgraded, and then I'll probably take some bigger stuff. I might. I don't know. I'm considering just going ahead and taking the uh, the surplus leopard. I know it's going to take a while to get. Um, that up and running with a, another controllable mech. I'm thinking about it. It would certainly come in handy uh, with the kind of mechs we have right now to have that extra mech in play, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, I'm in this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Till next time, we'll see you later.